today's tutorial we will we'll be looking on one more use case so yesterday i was discussing with one of my friend and uh, they were facing some issues so basically the issue is like it, one of the vendor uh, from their organization who was connected to their organization has changed their name and as a result of which the email id or you can call it an email domain of each and every employee got changed now they want to update or you can say migrate all those users from the previous email id to the new domain email id okay and the count was pretty significant it was around 20000 so it's not possible manually so he was just discussing with me how we can achieve that so in today's tutorial we will try to resolve that issue only so for example we will go to the cc user table cc user dot list i miss the t and here we can see what we can see i have changed the email ids of few people okay with the hello.com okay so i will i will put a condition over here right? just to filter out this user so he will be doing based on the organization i will be doing based on the email id so i can go email content email and run so we want to update the email id we have we want to uh, change the email uh, domain for this four users okay for example let's say technomount.com okay so for that what we will be doing we will be writing a fix script so let's quickly create a fix script i'll give it a name as what what name should i give mm. update email domain and probably you will all you may also face this kind of scenarios in your organization because name changing and email domain changing is pretty common practices right so we have created one now what we'll be doing first of all we will glide record and we'll bring out all the users account user glide records okay which we want to change so simply we will do variable here user not i will just zoom out users equal to to new line record which table do we want to go to sales underscore user and now we have to add the query okay in order to get it working so we'll be adding a query what will be the query gr dot and sorry not a gr user dot and encoded query what will the encoded query so we'll take it from the filter so i will copy this query out from here i will paste it out over here so now i will get fortunately we will get all the users so i will do gr user dot query now what we have to do we have to change the email id of of domain not an email id okay domain so basically when i call domain the initial part or the prefix should say the common okay only the domain should get changed after at the rate you can say so how we can achieve that so we'll use some javascript basic javascript coding so i will do while dot gr user dot next now we'll you take a uh, take a usage of regex so i will define a regex variable r for regex equal to new snc dot regex this is how you can define the regex okay if you want this should be small regex and under regex i can give what i want to change so i will give to, to, to what is that hello.com okay 
and now we can simply add dot uh, dot let us all replace all what the old use the dot email with new domain we will give a new domain over here so i will give technomonk monk.com right this sounds like fun right giving my domain to the users and then you can simply go gr dot update gr users dot update and so basically what we did we glide record the user okay glide record the user table we have given the encoded query then we define a regex okay and then we simply replaced it out with the previous user email id with the new one okay whatever will be there and i'm done so that's all for for the script i will save it out and let's try to execute if it works i will do run fix script proceed not in background i got an issue on the dt what issue not a valid pattern yes actually it's not a valid pattern why because we have to enclose it in the slash is my bad save and now if i execute hope it will run this time proceed and it's done it took only 0.07 second okay and if i go and if i refresh it out still there why right, it's still there let's check once again Mm -hmm. So what we do? D -d 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 users we got query user dot next. C dot regex under dot com. Oh, 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 oh. Here we don't want to. Do. It should be. Am I bad? It should be user GR user because we are updating the GR user, right? So it should be GR user dot email. Equal to this, right? My bad. Uh, sometimes mistakes happens. Now if I run the script, proceed. It executed. Let's check. We go. Here we didn't get anything. Why? We didn't get anything because for this users. The email ID got changed to Technomonk. Let's see. Pretty easy, right? Only seven lines of code. You don't have to do that much of effort. So this is all for today's tutorial. Hope this script will be useful for my friend. Okay. Please like, follow, subscribe my channel to get the latest updates on videos I am creating. If you have your own queries or use case, you can drop me a mail. Okay, I will try to create video on the same also. Till then, stay safe, stay happy and have a nice day. Thank you.